my BX Explorer finally arrived. I ordered it the uh, November 16th and it just showed up today. Well, actually yesterday, December 9th. Uh, in relatively good shape. The uh, straps I had just taken off. It was only minor damage to the cardboard. So I'm hoping there's no damage inside. Uh, taking a look. This is how she comes. Lots and lots of zip ties. So I'm going to get out my uh, clippers and uh, start disassembling and uh, hopefully we'll get this thing done this afternoon. So here we are. Uh, we've got all the wrappings and zip ties off. You can see I got a nice little collection of stuff here. I'm oh, pretty impressed. I mean, nothing really seems damaged. I don't know how these were, things were getting damaged before. They must have been dropping them right off the ship onto the dock. This thing here was uh, it was packaged really well. Lots of styrofoam, some big blocks. I threw a bunch of them away already. Uh, you get a box. I've already opened it. And really in the box, you got your pedals, a snazzy little tool kit. Your Be Cool Bikes owner's manual and a battery charger. Some extra, you know, extra wires here. So I'm gonna read up on all that. Step one: <laughs> unpack the bike. Well, as we can see, I've accomplished that. We're gonna move on to step two. Step two: install handlebar onto stem as shown. So I've already taken some of the bolts out. They're four millimeter little bolts. And Be Cool has conveniently put some Loctite on them already. So they were a little stiff to get out, but nothing terrible. So take these off. And then we're gonna have to orient the handlebars. And we'll put this on. It uses, uh, it's just to use the toolkit that comes with the bike. I just happen to have a bunch of handier tools laying around. Just makes my life a little bit easier. So, using the T handles, and we'll snug this down and center it up. Uh, the manual does say to use a uh, torque wrench, it says 10 Newton meters. So, let's see how that works out. Four. So, like Grandpa always said, double check. One. Two, three, four. All right, not that this is where the handlebars are gonna stay, but at least I got them on right now so I can move on to the next step. Again, I use the torque wrench. Some people just tighten them until they feel it's tight. You could use the German guten tight method. Uh, my grandfather used to say tighten it to just before it snaps and then back off. Uh, I was trying to be a little bit safer on this one. All right, we're on to step three. We got the skewer, the front wheel. It says install front wheel. So you got to be careful. There's these little uh, little springs here. One on each side says the, the cones taper and face into the front wheel. So it's going to slide through and then you put these two on. See the shaft, spring pointing in. There we go. All right. Well, it goes without saying, the front wheel, the disc is going to go against the uh, brake loader or the caliper. Uh, there was a bolt here. I'm assuming this is just for shipping, keeps the forks from getting bent. I guess that was an issue in the past. It was mounted in here with the lock nuts in it mountain bike and it drops right on this is just tighten this see a little bit of tension and then snap down hey while you're assembling this thing it's just something you want to keep an eye out for this little thing here is for the horn now, amongst all the little debris here at the bottom of the box, I found the horn button. 
and uh, Pico conveniently, I guess, put a zip tie around it to keep it, <laughs> I guess, from getting damaged. Keeps it from uh, securing completely, I guess, so that the horn doesn't get pressed while you're being shipped. So if it's not there, it's in, it, hopefully it's in the box if your box hasn't ripped. Mine was at the bottom. And so I'm just gonna take this little zip tie off. And we'll just guess. Well, that looks like how it would go. Pop that in there. Oh, oh and we have a horn. Step four isn't so much as putting something together. It just says perform a handlebar twist test. So they're telling you to brace the front wheel and twist. So, so like, I guess that's to make sure your steering stem and everything is uh, connected. Going forward, backward. I don't feel anything loose. Maybe, eh, maybe this could be tightened a little bit. Step five, install the pedals. All right, well, they've conveniently, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's little stamps on here, uh, WL and WR. So you're gonna have a left and a right. One's gonna be threaded different than the other, so you can't put them on backwards. And I'm using a 15 millimeter wrench with this, you know, snug it down in there. Just snug that down. Step five, complete. The instructions are saying, install the front fender and headlight as shown. Remove the fender and headlight mounting bolt from the fork arch. That would be here. Well, mine doesn't have that bolt. So hopefully you're as lucky as I am and you never threw anything away and you have jars and jars and jars of bolts to go through. <laughs> this might take me a few minutes to find one that fits. And it's a shame, but you know, if you don't, I guess you can run down to Home Depot, grab yourself a nut and bolt. So, after a little searching through some of my jars of bolts here, came up with another uh, nifty four millimeter Allen and a washer. So, it's not what's supposed to come in there, but it does the job. The rest, the other bolts were already there. One on each side that holds the fender on. Just another four millimeter, and that was just quick and easy. The uh, only other thing up front here, it's got to plug these things together here, so it says makes the headlight work. And they're indexed, so it looks relatively self-explanatory. Wow, well, we're getting down to the end. Last thing we got to do is put this uh, rack on, and that looks super simple. The bolts are there, and four more four millimeters. And it just lines it right up like that. And then there's a cable back here. I just gotta find the other connector. And uh, that seems to be for our turn signals and tail light. So I'll search that down. Oh, looks like it's down here. Ta-da! All right, we've got the rear rack on. Uh, I was able to uh, route the cable. I'm not sure if I did it right, but using my art of zip ties got it all the way down here it's connected and even better it's already connected to the bike so I have brake light Let's see we got a turn signal and we got another turn signal couldn't been any easier another quick tip here that uh, reading the instructions it says inflate the tires so what do we got we're at 15 it says inflate to 20 the front tire had zero so that's up to 20 yeah, looks pretty much set on the money all right so here we are the be cool explorer so assembled and ready to go on its inaugural run i got the tires inflated all the wires done everything seems to be torqued and ready so have i read the whole manual no i was too excited i just want to ride this thing I mean, it looks like it already came with three quarters of a charge on it. Uh, so let's uh, test it out, see what comes up.